This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Good, how are you? Awesome. How's that thing greeting you? Great. And you're making your lunch out here? Well, I'm making, I'm making, I'm prepping some dough. I'm gonna make a, a Neapolitan pizza in the woods. I gotta make the dough like two days ahead of time, so. You're awesome. <laughs> All right, Maverick, yeah. thanks. Man. Have a good one. So you have a TikTok <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Duluth. Are you? Yeah. How you doing? Making pizza dough. All right, we got the dough horizon. We're gonna have to wait like 48 hours for that dough to rise. Um, well, actually, sorry, we do 24 and then we slap it, divide it up and put it in the refrigerator for another 24 to 48. So <laughs> we'll see you, in a, see you in a day. Bespoke Post has sponsored one of these videos before and I've had the, uh, the honor of being able to use one of their knives for the longest time. So while I was on the road, Bespoke Post was kind enough to send me a box. I got the Terra box, which has been awesome while on the road. I have been using it for the last three months. Came with uh, this little tiny shovel called the uh, Ultimate Tool. I've actually, I've been, I've been using it to dig holes to use the restroom, like in the woods. It's like a little gardening spade. It's nice. It also has like a little saw on one side. And if you guys remember that one clip of me popping the Tapu Chico, the cap off of it that was with that tool it's just been my right hand it's been like right right here in the truck but they sent me new boxes and actually my favorite box here is the uh the caprese box and what i'm going to be using to make the pizza today so in the caprese box you actually get everything that you need to make caprese you get a basil plant that actually is a hydro plant so i've never used one of these before but we're going to set it up and learn how to use it together i have a cherry tomato plant, which I'm gonna plan on putting in the garden next year because uh, it's a little too late in the season, but we're gonna get that boy started. And it also comes with a kit to make your own mozzarella cheese, which I have never done. Um, and to be honest, it takes a little bit of time, so might not do it right now, but it's really cool that they put everything together to be able to make cheese. Every box is around $70 in value, but only costs $45. And 90% of the products come from small businesses, so it helps you discover like new places and support small business, it's pretty cool. So you only really have to pay for what you want. You get a quiz that you can fill out every month and they pick a box based on your answers on that. You can also just pick what box you want if something tickles your fancy a little more. So once you click the link in the description, you're gonna be prompted to go to the bespoke page, go all the way to the bottom and fill out the quiz just so they can get a heads up of who you are and what kind of box to send you. So to get 20% off your first box, go ahead and click on the link in the description and enter checkout code MAV, or you can go to this link right here. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Now let's get back to making our pizza. Welcome to another northern Minnesota fall day where I'm grabbing groceries in the middle of the night. Thank you very much. Nine o'clock at night, I'm absolutely starving. I haven't really eaten much of anything today besides some watermelon and samosa. I had samosa today and uh, some apples. Last time I ate was about, I don't know, noon. Ooh. Sounds good, but I know it's a bad idea.
So disorganized. Pizza pie. Okay, well, we're all set up now. Um, I'm about ready to start making my pizza. The most important part of a pizza pie is, oh God, it's goopy. It's mean, it's the dough. So I made this dough four days ago. That's right, four days. It's gotta ferment. It's that nutty flavor in it, it's super good, so. Um, the dough's been sitting. Right now I gotta make my sauce. I'm just gonna make something quick. We're not doing anything super crazy. We're doing a margarita pizza style. So I'll leave a recipe to the uh, the dough in the description. But I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do your pizza dough at least 48 hours. Well, at least 24 hours in advance. You can do 48, but I recommend three days. All right, now that I got the sauce working, it's time to make my first dough ball thing. Ooh. This stuff's looking really goopy, so I'm gonna try to get it out there delicately. Honestly, I haven't made this that often, but I think you want to start in the middle and push the air out to the sides so you get that like really nice bubbly crust you know what i'm talking about like when the crust has like charred on the outside that's what i'm going to try to replicate here i don't want to get it too thin so i'm going to get flour on my fingers push it out this dough is super sticky Started getting so thin in the middle. I don't like that. I'd say that looks pretty good. Look at that pizza pie. fire going here. This thing's awesome because it's portable. Gonna do it like this. Uh, I don't know. Hey. Mm. Oh, 
Let's go check on the fire. All right, that's going to take a while to warm up in there. So I know you're thinking that doesn't look like a pizza. It's because it's not really a pizza. That's a uh, focaccia bread. I have enough dough to make a pizza and a salad and focaccia bread. Rosemary, sea salt, and olive oil and dough. I'm just hoping it's hot enough in there. There we go. Smells amazing. I can't wait, I'm super hungry. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta get my main pizza going. Well, the oven's still hot. Look how beautiful and airy that is. sauce on here. Well, always, I like to go light on the sauce on my pizzas. I had a Italian exchange student friend one time that I made pizzas with. His name was Ettore. We called him Enzo. And he told us that the French uh, really don't care for the sauce much. They don't put a lot of sauce on their pizzas. That's very American to do, apparently. Now, even though I have all the things to make fresh mozzarella I didn't have time today so decided to buy some fresh pieces I'll leave that for another video or just another day and then here's those fresh veggies some people wait to put these on after um, I like to put some on now I don't really know why but I will save some to put some after. Don't scold me too bad. I just, I don't know why I've done it this way. Fish out with some salt. And that, my friends, is good to go. Awesome. All right, put some of our fresh basil on here. This thing's looking so good. All right, don't mind if I yabba dabba do. I think this is the best pizza I've ever made. I've made Neapolitan style pizza before, but that's the best. The crust are no, nice, light, and airy. The only thing that I wish I would have done better is had the oven like heated up more um, because the crust didn't get nice and bubbly. I mean, the the crust is just unreal. A quick sauce recipe is super good. Thank you, Paul, for that one. 
you guys want to submit um, any recipe ideas or if you know of any funny campers that are for sale, if you head over to mavmadeit.com, um, there's a new recipe submission. Um, if you guys submit some recipes, I will uh, give you a shout out in the video and you can see it featured in a video like this. But oh my gosh, this meal tastes so good right now. It is almost midnight right now. Um, I haven't eaten since noon, so I'm going to gorge myself. If you have not attempted to make Neapolitan-style pizza before, I definitely recommend it. You can make it in a regular oven. You don't need to get a pizza oven, but using fresh ingredients is, is key. Kasha bread and salad. This is usually what you'd make focaccia bread for if you're eating some greenery. So simple and so tasty. Oh, it's late. 64 degrees outside. And on the road again. Pizza was really good. Really recommend you guys making it if you want to check it out again in the description below. Again, if you guys want to submit a recipe, mavmadeit.com, or if you want to pick up a t-shirt, hat, stickers, would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in this episode. Until next time, you're in no drill. Just keep on trucking.